Hi, I just wanted to document um, some times that I've seen or that an angel has worked in the lives of either me or my family members. Um, my stepmother, her name is Mary, and she has always been very close to God. And she has had a lot of cool experiences. I probably could, it would take me many videos to document hers. But I wanted to mention one in particular. Um, she was, um, first of all, I admire her a lot. She is um, one of the reasons that I'm a strong Christian. So anyway, she was driving down the road. She was a single woman at this point, not married. Um, no children. And... She was behind a, um, I think it was 18-wheeler, but I'm not sure. But it was a big truck that had logs on the back, a lot of logs. Like, uh, they just, you know, clear-cut a field, and all the um, big heavy trees were on it. And she was at a light behind this truck. And it was in a busy area. It was, in I think, near Charlotte, North Carolina. And she heard a voice, a male voice, strong and loud and insistent kind of urgent say back up and she didn't listen to it she looked around to see who said it and there was no one in her car she was a little freaked out she saw people on the side of the road but no none of them were like looking at her and then it said again back up now and she backed up and um, no one was behind her of course but she backed up and then when the truck took off a log fell from the truck and it would have gone straight through her windshield like it was still really close even though she backed up it would have gone through her windshield and killed her it like shot off the back of the truck and all these people stopped and talked to her talked to the logger and they were like how did you know to back up and you know she I don't know if she answered them or not but when she that's that instance or that happening that meant a lot to her it's really stuck with her and that was one of her first um angel experiences now she didn't see the angel but she heard her guardian angel or jesus or whoever that voice was protect her and thank goodness she listened to it because um otherwise she wouldn't have been there for my dad and she has been they have had a wonderful marriage so um that was her experience I did. I saw an angel only um, once, but um, it was really <laughs> impactful. And at first, I didn't even know what I had seen. It scared me so badly. But um, so I already had one child when this happened, and um, I had been. I was at Mary's house. So I was in my dad and stepmom's mother's apartment. It was around July fourth. Um, it had to have been night. 1999 yeah 1999 and um so um we had all been together swimming in the pool uh had a like a uh one and a half year old at the time and um that night um um I had um been intimate with my husband so then I couldn't sleep I just could not sleep and so I decided instead of tossing around and bothering him that I would go lay on the couch. So I was laying on the couch. I was on my back. And with the direction I was laying, I could see um, out of a window. So um, here's what happened. So I had gone to sleep on the couch finally. And then I woke up. And when I woke up, I couldn't move um that didn't seem to that didn't that particular part of what happened didn't scare me it was what there was something standing over me <laughs> and that scared me so badly but I didn't scream but I was absolutely terrified now the way it looked it did not have wings it was tall really tall I mean, like, I've heard other people describe angels, and I'm not, I do not think that impacted what I saw at all. Because if I had listened to them, I would have imagined it looking like a human with wings and being really bright and shiny. 
and I don't know, it just would have looked more human. This was just light. It was like, but it was alive. It was like, I didn't hear a humming, but it looked like a humming. It looked like alive, like shimmery kind of. And it was, like other people say, super bright. But I saw no features. I saw no, like, individualized features where I could ever recognize this thing again. It was just a tall thing that was this in the shape of what would have been a person just on if it was blurry, like if you couldn't see with your glasses. So it was like, I don't know, nine, eight or nine feet maybe. So it was, it fit in the room. It was under the ceiling level, but it, um, was like, almost like an arch of a church, but a skinny, you know, like a really skinny, really tall, but it was like arched on top. And I, I just, I didn't see a face. I didn't see hands. So I was very confused about what I was seeing. And I didn't know if it was an angel or not. And then what happened was really weird to me, <laughs> right? So this is one of my first supernatural experiences. Not my first, but one of my first. Definitely the most amazing, right? So then the the angel, I, I know now it was an angel, but the angel had this beam that went from it into my stomach and went like, meh, you know, like a little light just shone. And then it looked frightened too that I had seen it. Like, I, I don't know how I knew that, but I just knew that he had, he or she had not been told I was going to see it. <laughs> so you know, I think it was like, oh, oops, was that supposed to happen? And it just left. <laughs> it just, it was just like, it was so fast, I can't even describe it, but it was, like, there, and then I could see, like, a trail, like, when you, when a train, I mean, I'm sorry, an airplane takes off, and it has a little trail, like a con trail, I saw a little trail of light, but it, I knew somehow how far it was going, it was just so far, it was, it just went from that room to outer space, through whatever, you know, covering we have, um, the firmament, it, it was just, past that Boop. it was gone and um I still was I was just terrified I, I didn't know what it meant why would an angel come and not talk you know if it was sending me a warning why did it not warn if it was if I'd been doing something right why did it not tell me yay good it didn't say my name it didn't it didn't speak and so I immediately woke up my parents not my husband because um at the you know, they're, they've just been in the Lord a lot longer and have a deeper relationship. So I went in there and I told them about it. And then that's when my stepmom told me about the one, the story I just told you with the, um, with the, um, logs and the, um, you know, uh, that one speaking to her. And she said she thought it was an angel. But she said that just to pray about it and it would maybe, you know, manifest, you know, the reason would come forward at some time. Well, that didn't take long because a couple weeks later I found out I was pregnant. And that, um, um, and I was just, uh, thought it was awesome. Now at first, now this is, don't think back poorly of me about this. Now I already had one son who was amazing. But my first thought was, oh, my second son is going to be some really special. And um, I, that was, I think maybe everybody is special to the Lord and everybody is loved. And I think maybe I was hoping that he would be like, and maybe he will be, I don't know. But um, I think now that it wasn't so much, the angel wasn't so much, do I didn't catch him doing that because my second son was going to be more special than anybody else. I think what I saw it was meant for me to see that children are given to us from heaven. And I think I just saw the process once, but it happens for everybody. That's why I think I saw it. It was so cool. So so it was just like within an hour or two of um, me being intimate. And the angel was, was there. And like I think I saw him put the soul in 
or the spirit or but I think that's what I saw and um I know I saw it I will never forget it I I mean I know I saw that an angel and I know I saw it put something in my stomach and then later I was pregnant <laughs> so it was really cool and I'm so glad I saw it and then like then something else happened so I've only told uh, this to my husband and to my two children and I told Matt that I'm I was sure it happened my older one that I'm sure it happened to him too um but um and he's a sweetheart they both are so anyway I um when I was pregnant another with the second one another thing happened at a gas station um a random right so I was just at a gas station filling up and I was showing obviously I just should have written it down but I, I don't really know when exactly it happened I was probably five months pregnant maybe and this man, and he was, uh, so I'm um, Caucasian, and um, a black man walked up to me, and he said, ma'am, I know you don't know me, but do you mind um, if I talk to you? And I said, uh, sure. I was just in a really good mood and being friendly, I guess. I was like, sure. He goes, I know this is going to sound really strange, but I just feel this urge to, like, touch your stomach and, and come over to you and tell you that your baby is special. And, um, I was like really touched and maybe I shouldn't be documenting this because I don't want it to people to think that I'm arrogant, but it did happen. And, um, so I just want to document it cause I don't know how long we'll be here before raptured. So I, um, I said yes and he put his hand on my tummy and um said thank you and he smiled and I always will never know I will never know if he was an angel or if he was just a regular person who believed in God and felt the move of the Holy Spirit I'll never know um well maybe I will in heaven one day but um I won't on this earth but that was really neat and um I did pray to God that um, I didn't even want children unless they were going to love him. I don't know everybody has to make their own choice. But I, I don't care if they have ten fingers or not, as long as they believe in you. You know, I mean, I wanted them to be healthy, obviously. And I wanted them to have an easier path through life than if, if they were, you know, had some kind of issue. But to me, I did pray to God that for me, the most important thing was that they believed in him. Um, I really wanted children that one would end up in the, have their name in the book of life. So anyway, that was, um, that was that experience. It was, um, this is something I've treasured in my heart and I probably am not going to share it beyond this channel. I don't know. And maybe no one will ever find it, but I just, I just wanted to, I feel the urge to share things, um, that have happened, and, um, oh, and I had a friend who something similar happened to, so when I was at work, um, this woman named Debbie, who was very much a Christian, she, um, her daughter had a dream when she was pregnant that she should name her son Samuel. And she didn't even know that she was having a boy yet. And so Debbie shared this with me. And then I shared about my angel dream with her. So I guess I did share it with somebody. I'd forgotten that. So um, she then later, you know, went for her second um, ultrasound. And they told her her first ultrasound. And they told her it was going to be a boy. And she got that confirmation. That was really cool. And, of course, they named him Samuel. So I have um, lost uh, touch with them a little, but I don't know how Samuel, you know, has turned out. But I can't wait to see what these two um, boys end up doing and how they will, um, you know, work for the Lord. But um, it's exciting. And, I, you know, I know if that happened to, Deb, to Debbie, her daughter, and if it happened to me, that um, that's two people in the same city that worked at the same place that is probably happening all over the world. 
And so there's so many special people on this earth right now uh, in God's army. And it's really exciting. And um, I just hope other people will share those experiences too. Love you guys. Um, in Jesus' name, amen.